So, gluten-free. All the gluten-free stuff that I've seen is terrible. Especially pizza, it's like eating cardboard. So what do you think we're gonna do today? Well, we're gonna try our hands at making a gluten-free Neapolitana pizza. I got the flour, I got the recipe. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Eat the World. I'm Chef Alex Lazic and today we're going to be tackling gluten-free Napolitana pizza. Now, I know what you're thinking. Most of the gluten-free products that you can get, in my opinion, are, and they have come a long way, don't get me wrong, but they're shit. And I've tried quite a few, especially the pizza products, you get the frozen bases in, especially in a restaurant sort of situation where like you don't have, you get a person in every now and then, so you've got some backup gluten-free products. And in general, they're just terrible. Like if you've ever had like a gluten-free pizza before, that's either the pre-made base or even a whole pre-made pizza, it's not nice. So today I'm going to be trying out my own version using Caputo's Fjord Glut Glut flour, which is, we'll see what happens. You know, I've seen some good reviews about it. Listen, this is gonna be a short video, so let's just get straight into it. This isn't a complicated process. It's just adding water, salt, oil, and off we go. Oh, and yeast. It's a, re it's a yeast leaven dough. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Now, before we start, guys, please, if you could, hit the like, like button, subscribe button, any comments down below. You'd be surprised. So many people, I've said this before, if you have any questions or problems, just ask me. Please, message me. It makes my day. And the people, those of you that have, I think are surprised that I'm actually that available and willing and wanting to help you. Honestly, I would love to. So message me. I'm here as your resource. Also guys, please check out my Patreon page for a couple of bucks. You can really help support my channel and I've got a lot of exclusive content and resources coming up for my patrons, so I would really, really appreciate that. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, so here's our flower, the Caputo Fjorglut. Fjorglut, doesn't matter, whatever. This is actually a very simple process. We have water, salt, oil and yeast. So first we're going to rehydrate our yeast as always. Please always do this. It will kickstart your dough and put you in the best place to make great amazing pizza. So use 100 ml of our total water to do this. So in our mixer with a paddle attachment we have our flour and salt and then we will add the remainder of our water. You can absolutely do this by hand and it will be pretty easy and give a great result. We aren't building any gluten structure after all. Once it's nicely mixed, let's add our olive oil and continue mixing. Now this is a pretty sticky dough to begin with, so keep that in mind when handling it. Let's just scrape down the sides and the bottom to make sure everything is incorporated nicely. Then all we're going to do is have one final mix for a few minutes and then we're ready to divide into dough balls. Use some gluten-free flour on your board or countertop and then scoop out your dough. As I said, this is a sticky dough, so use a plastic scraper if you have one. This is a perfect job for that simple tool. Then dust it lightly with flour and we are going to roll it into a kind of a log. Then using your scraper, divide it into three equal portions. I think my final balls were around 280 to 290 grams, which is a teeny bit big, but it actually came out perfectly. Next, we're going to prepare some containers to store each dough ball in. Just spray them down with cooking oil or brush them. Now flour your hands and try to shape them into balls, and then pop them into your container. Pop a lid on and then let them rest on your counter until you see the yeast starting to become active and bubbles form. Depending on how warm your final dough was, this could be only after 20 minutes or so, but take your time. If it's a cold day and it takes longer, so be it. When they are ready, pop them into the fridge overnight.
take a look at this. That's <laughs> pretty incredible. I wasn't expecting it to blow out this much, but that's pretty cool. A lot of activity there, and it's got a structure. Kind of looks like real dough, to be honest with you. Pretty awesome. Let's get making this pizza then. So we'll put down a bit of gluten-free flour, of course, and then we'll take our dough out of this container. It's crazy, but this feels a lot like, like real pizza dough. So far, pretty impressed with it. Let's get that covered. Then we'll start shaping it. This isn't like a wheat dough. So we're just gonna have to shape it by hand. Get the shape that we want. I'll tell you what, it's, it smells really good. It smells like a, a proper pizza. So far, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Okay, fabulous. Let's get saucing. So, I'm using a bit of white rice flour which is perfect for the peel. This stuff, uh, I, I actually bought it for baking, but it's a bit too coarsely ground. It's a little bit like the texture of semolina, but it's perfect for this. Our, our pizza is just gonna slide off of there like it's on ball bearings. Well, let's get this sauced up quickly because I can hear the rain is now setting in and I'm all ready to go, typical, but that's all right. We will be fine. Put some nice cheese on here. And then I think we'll put some, I've got some nice Genoa salami. We'll put on a few slices of that. Maybe just a one more little piece of cheese there. Okay, let's get cooking. Check it out. That's a gluten-free pizza. I never would have thought it would come out so beautifully. Amazing. Let's go inside because it's raining out here and I'm about to ruin my very expensive camera. Okay, let's do it. Guys, the smell of this is incredible. I am so impressed with <laughs> this gluten-free pizza. Look at that, Napolitana style. Can you hear that? It's crispy and crunchy and it smells great. It's acted just like a flour dough or like a wheat dough would, just about. I mean, it's puffed up, hasn't, you know, hasn't got like crazy puffs like some of my recipes, but this is this is surprisingly good. Should we take a look inside? Let's cut it open and see. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. Oh, do you hear that crunch? <laughs> I'm so blown away by this. Crunchy. That is puffed up beautifully. And the bottom is nice. This is a, you know, so far it's ticking the boxes, but um, let's try the uh, ultimate test. Let's give it a taste test. But I am thoroughly impressed with this flower. This is really spectacular. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, here we are. Here is our gluten-free pizza. Unbelievable, this is unbelievable. I can't believe that it's, it looks like bread. It smells like bread, like wheat bread. I, it, it, the way it feels was with like a wheat dough with lots of gluten. Super interesting. Anyways, I'm going to give this a try. Oh, 
I honestly can't believe it. I mean, it's pretty close. This is pretty close. If I, if I hadn't have made it myself and tasted it, I wouldn't believe it. This is actually a really good flour and a really good product. You know, if you wanted to cut back on your gluten intake, I don't know why, but if you did, or if you're celiac, totally get that. But this is a really good pizza. Like I said, it hasn't got that puff, but like it's, it's more than beautiful the way it is. It's got texture. Look at it. It's puffed up like a wheat dough would. It's so super interesting. How cool is that? I'm so impressed with this pizza and it tastes, that tastes really good. That tastes a lot better than a lot of pizzerias, pizzas that I've been to. Anyways, pretty awesome. Who would have thought that you could make quality Napolitana pizza like this with a gluten-free flour? The guys from Caputo know what they're doing. The Fjordglut flour, try this flour out. It will change your life, I'm pretty sure. Okay guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. I'm impressed, totally impressed. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have had a lot of fun learning today as well because I've never used this flour before. So look guys, hey, Please hit the like and subscribe. I've got a lot more really super cool stuff coming up very, very soon. And if you get a chance, head over to my Patreon page. I would really appreciate it. Any support that you can give to the channel would be fantastic. I've got a lot of exclusive content for um, our patrons coming up. Just a couple of dollars would go a long way in helping support me. So I would really, really appreciate that. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me. And we'll see you next time. God damn it, that's really good.